wave or when a short person waves at you it is actually called a microwave and one of the things they won't teach you was because when esther had to use too much cream they had to give her establish and that's where that word came from distinguished guests ladies and gentlemen i would like to have one of the finest nigerian comedians on stage prestigious comedians he knows his onions and is gone in for his game can we please put our hands together for no other than a man who was here earlier than we were you can call him an early man you know the way man traveled and man evolved he he's one of them when you see him you actually know you don't need a soothsayer to tell you he's been here before most of us distinguished guests ladies and gentlemen makinde david so when he waves at you you know i did call him microwave now Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for our amazing host. Come on, make some noise for our. Yeah, that was, that was nice. Uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening. Oh, good. I'll uh, uh, respond now. Good evening. Uh, uh, so, because they said that some people will not win, some people will win. No. Let me crack my jokes first. That's why I said I will come first before people that know win will not laugh. Yes, I beg them that before people start losing, let me go on stage. If you're meeting me for the first time, my name is Makine David, and as you can see, I'm a professional basketball player. It's pretty obvious. I played basketball professionally for the Nigerian children team. <laughs> you won't know me because I don't think most Nigerians watch the Olympics like that. You get in, in the Olympics, I spearheaded Nigeria winning. Yeah. And the year. Oh, so it's not like the major Olympics, it's the Paralympics, again, I, I spearheaded Nigeria in the basketball stuff, yeah. And for the ladies, it's looking at me like, oh my god, they're so cute. <laughs> I'm shy. I get that a lot, I get that a lot. I'm a superstar model, I model professionally for children clothing. From age 8 below. Yeah. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, um, it's a pleasure performing to HR people. But I'm mixing up, put your hands together for yourself. Come on! Yeah! So, if I'm being honest, um, you are the reason I'm doing comedy. <laughs> yes! Too much expectation right there. You people, I don't like, I'm performing to you because of money. If it's by love, I will not be here. I don't like most of you. I'm being honest right there. I'm serious, I'm serious. Now, this, this is the truth, this is the truth. What does it mean to one minimum? <laughs> Me that I use special center to pass for life. If not for jam that I just do, it was when they started CBT, the first center I passed. And I knew it was a mistake. You want to say two one minimum. And I studied a very good course from the President of University of Lagos. Very good course. I studied law. Law. Nobody believes you. Yeah. <laughs> I studied law. Yeah, law of animal studies, zoology. Zoology people make some noise. Yeah. I see you. <laughs> My name's zoology. How did you make it? <laughs> no, this, this is very, this is very. In zoology, when we enter the course during our orientation, they call us and tell us that we will not make it. That's it. <laughs> No, no, I'm serious about that. My which university you go to? That's the reason. <laughs> in Port Harcourt, we have plenty animals. Yeah. In Lagos, just two animals, conductor and other. You get it? That's it. That, no, no, no. See, it's very, it's very easy to know if you are studying a good course in Nigeria. It's from your orientation day, you know. Orientation day, for example, if, if, if you gain admission and they give you medicine and surgery. What you tell people, that one is I gain admission. You gain! <laughs> that means the school is happy! That means you are deserving! Zoology. That one, we didn't enter school. <laughs> oh, I don't enter school. We didn't enter. Yeah. So, from the orientation, I knew, from what, from what they were telling us, every course that you study in this country, and they tell you that you can walk anywhere. Just know that anywhere, that's how you will walk. Finding people that you give your CV, you will walk. 
bad is it? People are like, you're thinking I'm short. It's the walking that I did. I walked the old Ikeja. I walked the old my God. So I'm a graduate. Zoology. I graduated with a very, very tall, strong, no, no, it's not actually very strong. Strong third class. I don't know what a strong third class is. Strong third class when you are, when you are graduating, a lecturer happens to see you and like, finally. <laughs> is it not strong? Very strong one. Oh. So now this is, this is the point. So I used to have, I used to work in a separate security company. No, 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 it's not like I'm smart. I'm not a social media person. You get so, so, so it's a very good company, no? so it's going to company. In Mickey, I was living in like better. Always very late. Always. There's no day. The only one day I was not late. When I got to the office, they were not open that day. <laughs> I was gone every time. So and I lost my job. I was, that's not I lost my job. I lost my job. HR said I was using too much of social media. Like, that is my job. My job as a social media manager is to be on social media. I cannot retweet on Excel. <laughs> After explaining, I cannot, I cannot retweet on, on Zoho. I cannot retweet on Star. And now, from next year, this award, we are giving TV Honorary Award. TV Honorary Award. No votes for these awards. For the, that, I, was, I, I was taught to say this, all right? So, the first category, yeah, nobody is voting no. First category, the company, yeah, that their staffs do not lie on LinkedIn. <laughs> yeah, if I company, yeah, and if you're, oh yeah, your staff do not lie on LinkedIn, you get the award. Because the lies on LinkedIn, my God! You will see one person, growth actor, slash, Motivational speaker, slash, 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 what a job on the floor. Why? Why are people like that? Anybody? On LinkedIn, eh? if you see, because of the pressure, it's not, it's not for you. It's people swiping LinkedIn. Don't say, oh, this one's not the best suit. Ah, those are going to ah, this one's making ah. And all of them, you see me that they call their hand about looking for your own. What's happening? I thought you made it. And at this country, now nobody's doing one job, bro. Young people now, nobody's doing one job. Besides, if your company is remote, that young guy that is just employed, he has another job in the UK. That's why he always say, hello? It's a mic. He's doing another job. Let me tell you, this country, everybody is doing something apart from what you are paying them. Even me, I'm not a comedian. I still do my law. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I still, I still, I go to court. Yeah, I, yeah, I'm sorry, I go to court. Football court, too. But I go to court, court is court. Everybody, see, young people, not everybody is doing so many things at the same time. And that's why you see that excellence is very rare. The only excellent people that you see are people who focus on one thing and they are doing it well. Young people, very, now, this is though. One person, videographer, stroke, photographer, stroke, video editor, stroke, graphic designer, stroke, growth hacker. Guess what's killing young people in 2025? Stroke. That's stroke, you know what they're doing. And now, the second award that is going, that is going to be honorary, no vote, no vote. Please, any HR company here, that you can be giving somebody that does resume work, salary, Advance. <laughs> like, you see, let me tell you, sometimes all those two stage interviews where you don't know where the chance what is going from. You get it? I'm serious though, like, uh, this is not a personal story. Oh. What I'm saying is not personal. You know what it is? My guy went to Ikea, not me. You get it? My guy went to Ikea that to look for work. They liked him. They said, oh, you are our person. We, you can work for us. But yeah, you know, then I told him that Alpha, we have another second stage interview. Can I say, I thought you liked me already. He said, no, but we have to do second stage. And I said, you know what? 
Look at that, my CV. If you look up, you see my car number there. <laughs> Just to transport. So I'll come for the second stage interview. And also, I've noticed, I've noticed that blood ambassadorship in, in this Nigeria it has, it has reduced. People don't have brand. Like, big companies don't have brand ambassador anymore, and it's annoying. So I want to talk to the HR. By, by next year, we have a award for the company that have, you know, good brand ambassadors. Like. <laughs> Brand ambassador, like is, is this NBC, right? NBC, right? Oh. Okay, we stay with this. Eh? Nigeria, what does it now? Oh. Nigeria bottling company, very good. That's it. Uh, <laughs> see, is it? Is it? Is it? Is a very strong third class. You get? This is the strong part. I am the third class. So, which company again, please? And they look. Nigeria bureau, very good. So, look at me. If you put me, it make me an ambassador of your company. You will not listen. No, no, no. If you see, if it if if doesn't make sense, then you will tell me that it doesn't make sense. Alright? So, if you market it, David, alright? First of all, if you use me as your ambassador, if I'm on your banner, on your flyer, all my full body will show. <laughs> all of that you will sign to one and it's only his head will be showing. That is, it will for me, all my full money for your full value. That's the one. And for your beer, if you put me beside, if you put me on a banner for any of your products, just right there. No matter how much you drink, you can never get high. <laughs> Think about it, you know what I'm saying? Think about it. But then, okay, just one more company now.